Alright everybody, hello and welcome to the Jupian Answer Show. Happy motherfucking Friday, guys. Oh man, <clears throat> pardon. So, um, yesterday I actually played, what do you call it? I actually played Core Dump here, but, like, I had it recorded, but due to the fact that I had an itchy nose, and, you know, that highly distracted me, it took me 20 minutes just to beat that map, so... That's pretty sad. So I did eventually beat it, but I'm not going to upload that. I'm actually going to go ahead and just replay this and then re-upload and then continue going on from there. So without further ado, let's continue in our Jump Maze series and we will play Core Dump. Alrighty, let me just put my FPS on because I like to see what FPS I have while I play. No oh, crap. But uh, so yeah, it took me 20 minutes to do it, so ugh. As you guys know, that itchy nose I had yesterday, that was just so annoying. But luckily, I don't have one now. There's also a bunch of other distractions. Like, for example, I think I, like, left the room while keeping the recording going. And I went to, like, to the kitchen, ate some, or I went to, like, the bathroom or something. And then I was eating some eggs or some stuff. And it was, it was a big mayhem, basically. So, you know, let's just go ahead and, uh, go ahead and just start fresh. Have this video go by a little faster. Definitely try to get in some of the other maps. Um, <clears throat> I do plan on going up to about maybe 63. I said that I was going to re uh, record myself. Like in my mind before I start recording. Or time myself rather. Before I start recording I was like, you know what, let's time myself. But as you guys know, I haven't, or I didn't do that so too bad. But yeah, so I do expect to play this until, hmm. Wait, let's see. What's the map? Map 63 is the one that has all the, um, all the lag in it. Or the one that I'm not so sure if I'm going to be able to play, but since that map will just take a while, I'll go ahead and probably... Oh, wait, no, I said I was going to play these, uh, the last four maps in one video, I think. Eh, whatever, let's just play 53... F this is, no, 56, I think is what this is. We'll just play then 58, 59, and 60 all in one map, and then we'll play 61 through 64, or in one video, and then we'll play 61 through 64 in another video. And also, uh, <clears throat> also, my performance, as you guys can see, is not as hot as it was yesterday, sadly. Oh, yeah, hell no. My performance is, I can tell it's going to be very gay today. Oh, man, after a day, I was doing so well. Now I have to go to a day in which my performance will suck, so that sucks. Ah, man, this really sucks. I was hoping I'd do as uh, good, good today as I did yesterday. Isn't this a secret here? Hey, yeah, computer map. Yeah, I saw saw that before. Obviously, it's just a computer map. No big deal, but you know, whatever. But yeah, so ultimately, we're going to get this uh, done recording sometime soon. Yo, Chris, no. Alright. You want to see the shoes I thought? Sure. Alright, and this is the life I have to live, guys. My new nursing shoes. Okay, look good. Huh? They look good. I should probably make a safe state up here. Alright, let's make one right here. area shouldn't really be taking me this long, but whatever. Nice long and steady ones to race, safe states. First checkpoint, let's move onward. Any your business? Oh, true, but whatever. Mm, 
Let's put some SR50 on that jump. Let's try to get that there. Alrighty. Alright, let's make a safe stay here. This jump can be a pain. Alright, and that, my friends, is why we make safe states. Crystal. Sorry, bro. I'm just saying. You can be so cold blooded sometimes. Mm, I totally missed that jump. I missed that jump. At least I'm glad I'm starting to get better with making save states now. Sadly, my performance wasn't as good as it was yesterday. Make a safe stay here. I remember when I used to play online here, or offline rather, I used to always get stuck here and forget or not know what to do, so I'd sit here, push everything, until I realized you're actually supposed to hit this door and then this opens up. What? I'm not even looking. I don't know what you're Crystal, I'm not even talking to you. Mind your own business. Excuse me, get out of my room. I don't know. Let's actually go over here. <sighs> Alright, we have to go push this switch and lower that. It actually probably will still end up taking me 20 minutes like yesterday, which sucks. Oh, look at that, I jumped in the wrong direction. area, you have to use some of your speed and quickly get through it. I can actually make it all the way over there, but with the uh, recording lag that I have, and then I'm not able to make it all the way over there. Normally, play normally playing on uh, like 130 FPS, and I'm able to get through this pretty quickly. Alrighty. Now I have to do this next little region. Get through it, no big deal, no rush. Take your time. And there you go. Oh, yeah, I just know it's over part, by the way, but whatever. It's all good, we can still make it through this map. Yeah, let's get over here. Yeah, last time it took me a good, like, 10 minutes to get through this area, because as you guys remember yesterday, I told you that, alright, if you watch. Uh, part three, and then you'll see that I had a very itchy nose near the end of the video, so that really distracted me, and then ultimately, ugh, man, made me take like a long, long, long time on this, um, long time on this map, which was 20 minutes, 
I went ahead and just stopped the video there, but I mean, you know, probably shouldn't take me that long, but again, judging by my performance not being as good as yesterday's, it might probably still take me 20 minutes to do it, but again, probably a good 10 minutes of it was just in this little area. So let's just be smart, make safe states, and then we'll be able to get through this area fairly quickly. Alright, just like that. Alright, so it looks like we probably shouldn't take 20 minutes on this map. Maybe 15 at most. So my performance is actually kind of getting a little bit better now. You gotta p punch that block of wood or whatever that is blocking the, uh, like, exit door from opening or something like that. I don't know the story, but... Well, I don't know the whole story of this map, rather, is what I meant to say, but something like that. Some door is blocking something, and then you have to... Or that little... It says, like, earlier... If you push the other switch over there without going to the other area first, it says like something is block is jamming the door or something like that. You know, investigate the core further or something like that. So I know what you got to do is uh, come over there or go over there rather and push that uh, punch that little block out of the way, which apparently was the thing that was. I shouldn't make a safe state. The one little thing that's like blocking basically the. Um, door from opening, I guess. I don't know. All doors had weird mechanisms like that to uh, allow them to open. But whatever. Maybe it's a special type of door. Again, don't have, don't really have anything to talk about. I mean, it's Friday. What else can I say? Yeah, let's, let's load that back up. Again, don't want to spend too long on this map. It looks like we just hit about the 10 minute mark a couple seconds ago. Alright, so then you push that. You go over here. Crap. You gotta go back down here, actually. Uh, go over here and jump right up there. Again, this jump is not that hard, but lag makes it a little difficult. Uh, by the way, what's up there? It's just like this little path, and if you like, take the elevator or whatever, and then it'll take you to a railgun. No big deal. Nothing that's like, oh yay, something cool. I mean, it's the railgun. I mean, I guess you can do it. You know, get that online just for fun. But you know, as for me right now, since I'm kind of uh, trying to move on, where I'll go ahead and just not go get the railgun. But it's fairly simple. You guys will see it when you get there. All right, and then the exit gate is open, and then you can go ahead and exit. So it took me about 20 minutes to do yesterday. It took me only about 10 minutes today, so that's pretty good. Anyway, screw the time. All right, so yeah, as you can see, your time is kind of starting from scratch, but again, that's because it's a new day. I didn't save state from yesterday. I just kind of started a new game, so. Next map, what is it? Oh, yeah, it's Red Hot Ride 2, made by AAC. AAC! Also, I just noticed the door to this room is uh, open, so there might be some very, very, very light background noise. I personally can't hear anything too clearly. Like, there's nothing really going on. Like, TV's on, people are talking downstairs, but since the mic is close to me, and you guys are going to hear me mostly, and then that's going to kind of override what, like, noise or whatever happens elsewhere. <clears throat> Try to make sure that we don't do stupid mistakes and fall somewhere, or we probably shouldn't fall. Alright, yeah, if you SR, or I don't think you have to SR 50, but you can jump from there way over here. It's not that hard, but uh, definitely, definitely pretty fast if you can do it. Oh boy, let's be careful, don't want to fall down, because if you fall down, you have to go like way, way the hell back somewhere towards the beginning, and that sucks. Alright, no, boy, 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 I almost fell off. Okay, let's calm down, calm down. Alrighty. Alright, I know there's a shortcut here. I think that's a little bit faster than the other one. The old one is basically this. Like, you jump on that one and you slide down, but there's a new, newer one that you just kind of, like, go right here along the edge until you get to the end. Let me, let me try to do that for you guys. It's not that hard. I can probably do it. Just gotta line myself properly. There we go. Fairly simple. I actually do prefer the other one just because I've kind of been doing that longer and I think it's a bit easier because you don't have to be like right on the edge of that area. 
So yeah, first map was about 10 minutes. Or actually it was like 11 or something like that by the time I exited or something. I believe it was like probably 11, but you know, I obviously had like a couple, maybe like a minute or two before I uh, started actually playing the map of uh, me talking about stuff. Alright, looks like we will exit this map in this time. 2-14-14. Next map. Sorry if you heard the microphone move a little bit, by the way. I just kind of uh, scratched myself and adjusted the mic a bit. Next map. Alrighty. Rage Maze 2. Uh, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, Rage Maze 2, so yeah. This is uh, what I was talking about earlier. You guys remember, I believe it was maybe in the second part. It might have been in the third part. I can't remember. Of the Let's Play Jump Maze, but... <clears throat> oh, crap. I hit my left strafe a little bit on that. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, there was a Rage Maze 1. I think it was actually part 1. Because yeah, it was like maybe the 5th or like some, pretty early into the Jump Maze 2. Yeah, so I think it might be in the 1st or 2nd part. Not going to be in the 3rd part. It's going to be in the 1st or 2nd. But yeah, I came across a map called Rage Maze. And this is pretty much the 2nd version of that. It has a... It's kind of like a map with 2 laps. So you kind of have to... Uh, let's screw the shortcut. Basically, shortcuts jumping from there to there again, like makes it hard, but it's actually a pretty easy shortcut. <clears throat> After this, what do we got? This map's 59, I think. Yeah, this is 59. After this, then we have map 60, and then from there, I'll go ahead and just conclude it. Or, uh, no, I'll, I'll go ahead and play the next map, actually. The map after that. And then the last video for Jump Maze 2 will have, um, <clears throat> it will either be. Crap, alright. But it will either be, um, what do you call it? The par on this, by the way, I think is very, way too fast, because you pretty much have to spend a, if you want to beat it, less than a, a minute on each map, which is gay. Or on each lap, not map. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, again, I'm not sure if I'll be able to play map, the swamp map without lag, so that's kind of, kind of scares me a little bit, thinking, you know, it makes me think, alright, so if I'm not able to play it, you know, how can I work with that? Um, in case you guys are like, oh, demo, well, I actually, <clears throat> what does that say? Swerve, okay. I just got a message from Facebook from someone, and they said swerve. What does that mean? I have no idea. Like, I hate this whole, uh, teenagers thing, you know? It's like, they, they always just have this, these things that they say, the way that they act, clothes that they wear. Just all this, like, stereotypical things, and, you know, the way that they act, especially, is, like, the thing where I can mostly always, or you can, like, mostly always, um, say that the way that they act is, like, which is, as you know, mostly stupid and gay and stuff like that, or whatever. Oh, man, this theory was created by me, and then I've distributed it a little bit, especially on Xandrona. A few of the people I've distributed to is Alex, crying Alex, yay, I mentioned him. I actually almost forgot about mentioning him. I did tell him before I came to record that, uh, because I went online for a bit because there was uh, someone on there I wanted to see, but he disconnected, which kind of sucked. But, um, yeah, so I was like, oh, yeah, I'll mention you. What in the world was that? No, okay, never mind. <clears throat> something weird on my screen happened. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. And there's something towards the bottom right. But anyway, so, yeah, I did say I was going to mention him, and I almost kind of forgot, but it looks like I just remembered, so, yay. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, so it's Brian Alex, co-leader of the clan CS, which is the clan that I'm in. In fact, the clan that I made stands for Chaotic Soldiers, as you guys know. I might have probably mentioned that in an earlier video. But, um, so yeah. Yeah, I mentioned you. It's Grying Alex. Alright. Or I believe his name now is Silent Alex. I'm not sure. I haven't paid attention. <clears throat> Alright, there's a Jump Maze course that I'll just briefly show you guys. I'm not even going to do it, but... Basically, you jump there, and then you come up here, push the switch. And then there's this little course that you have to finish in 30 seconds or less. Again, it's I could be here for like hours trying to do this, but uh, I, will, I will go ahead and not show you. At least for now. Maybe sometime in the future I'll go ahead and record it and see if I can get a, at least a 28-second run. That's my best so far, so let's go ahead and exit. Let me get a little bit of water. I'm a little thirsty.
raining until the next map. <clears throat> Alright, 40 below zero. Now this map, why is that dark? Normally when I play online that isn't dark, but whatever. <clears throat> it looks so weird. Normally isn't that color for me. It's normally just normal. Alright, anyway, whatever. But yeah, so this map is pretty long. I'm not going to say it's as long as Bloody Donation or... Um, or what's the other map that took forever? Core Dump. I'm not going to say it's as long as both of those. Maybe it's as long as Bloody Donation. You can compare it maybe to that, rather. But Core Dump, that, I, I believe, in my opinion, that took a lot longer. Not because it was harder, in my opinion. I think it was uh, pretty hard. At least with lag, it's like almost impossible for me. But um, So yeah, this is comparable in length to maybe about uh, bloody, do bloody Donation. I'll make a safe state here in case I don't make this jump because this could this jump right here could be a, a pain. So let's go back a little bit. Ooh, let's make sure we don't go off the edge there. A little bit of SR50 and fail the jump like we always do. <clears throat> Ugh, man, I'm like hiccuping a little bit. Sorry about that. Hopefully I don't get the hiccups while I'm recording. That's really going to suck. Alrighty, there we go. We made this jump. But yeah, again, this map could take about maybe 10 plus minutes, so definitely by the time we're done with this, we'll go ahead and stop recording. I'll play the next two maps if I lag on the Swamp one when I get there, and then I'll go ahead and just uh, stop, you know, like skip that map and just go on to map 64. Sorry, alarm clock over here just kind of went off. My sister's uh, watch just kind of beeped, so no big deal. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> so let's probably hit the hour, right? Well, it's 6.05, so that's probably five minutes off. Uh, but yeah, so again, if I get to that map and then I'm like hitting like 2 FPS or something, I'll go ahead and just quickly go up to the menu and then uh, change the map over to map 64 and then continue from there. Now let's go up. And then go ahead and just continue from there. And uh, try to find a way that I can play the swamp map because I don't really want to leave certain maps out just because I, you know they lag me. I think that's kind of unfair to those maps to have them not featured in the game, in my opinion. So I'm going to you know, go ahead and try to work around with the demo a little bit. Because when I played it, I didn't lag, but the thing was, or at least I didn't lag that much. I only had like maybe shave like, you know, 10 FPS off my normal playing. So that was pretty good. I was able to play, you know, good without lagging. <clears throat> But uh, whenever you uh, were playing back the demo, and like, you know, what I normally do with Bandicam, which is what I used to record, <clears throat> is like, okay, there's this little uh, thing where you can like select a rectangle on the screen, which is what I, b I believe I did for the, um, for the What's Next videos, or for the What's Next video that I uploaded a, like a couple days ago. Yeah, I did for that um, for that video, and it kind of uh, had like huge like des uh, video desync. <clears throat> like for example, the video would just go like really slowly, and then like you know my audio would obviously just keep going at normal speed. And yeah, that would suck. But um, so yeah, ultimately that, that's what would happen. Or that's what happens when I select a rectangle. So what I what I normally do is like. <clears throat> oh, sorry. That was disturbing. But um, what I normally do is um, select the... <clears throat> What's this? Oh, okay. I think that's the secret thing that pushes you up there. Like a checkpoint or something. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, there's the, another option where it's called, like, s select direct X or something like that. A window. And then you can, like, select, I guess, like, games or something. And then that's how you can, like, record them. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and make a save state here. Here. But yeah, so you can, um, like, I guess, record games through there. And that's what I normally do to record this. If I do it the other way, which is the only way that I'd be able to record the demo, it, you know, there'd be lots of uh, video desyncing, and I just wouldn't like that. So, you know, let's just go ahead and do it the normal way. And, um... <clears throat> try not to use that or the demos because again 
doesn't lag me that bad. It actually, you know, it gets me pretty good when I like, you know, I'm actually recording it. It gives me almost like no lag, but ultimately, you know, that's gonna. And like whenever I push my recording button in the oh yeah, whenever I push the recording button like while I'm in the game like for example right now and then I push my end button which is what I use to start recording. At the fart, oh man that was disturbing. Oh, pardon. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so I push my end button and then that gets me. <clears throat> gets me recording but whenever at least when I'm playing back the demo I like whenever I push any button that just like automatically opens up the menu even when I push my record button I have like bandicam and everything open it doesn't record the video so I'm kind of like uh, okay you know like what do I do here I don't know so the only reasonable thing would be to use that like rectangle on a screen but that would lag me as I told you guys so and I, I don't really want that I don't think that's the best option in my opinion. So yeah, I definitely don't want that going on. <clears throat> oh man, I need to clear my, or I'm clearing my voice out a lot. Should, after I get through, through this little area, I'll just go ahead and drink, well, right now, I guess. I have like a tad bit of water left, so let's just take a sip. There we go. Alright, let's continue. Alrighty, so yeah, like I said, this map will mm, probably take up to like about 10 minutes. And then after this, I mm, believe 61. 61, yeah. Oh, let me think. No, yeah, 61 is the Wario map, or the Tits map, as it's called, because it, you know, pretty self explanatory. I'll, you guys will see it when you get to that map, I guess. But, um. No, we fell. Alright. But yeah, pretty self explanatory when we get there. <clears throat> man, there's something in my throat. Oh man, that's disturbing. Whatever. I don't think I kind of got it out. Yay. Alright. But anyway, pretty self-explanatory. When we get to that map, you guys will see it. And then the map after that is, uh, what is it called? AAC's Hive. And then after that is the Swamp Map. And then we'll go ahead and try playing it. If we can try, you know, if we can, like, at least play it with decent FPS. And then we'll probably go ahead and try to play it. And then we'll go, if we can't, can't, we'll just like go to the skirmish from here and then just go ahead and go to map 64. Anyway, next map, AAC's Hive. Oh, actually, no, next is the Tits map, yay. Alright, Sweet Dreams Wario. As I said, it's going to be self-explanatory, you guys will see it in a minute. I know there's a bigger, better shortcut there, but whatever. Alright, it's pretty self-explanatory because as you guys can see, you can probably guess what those are. And then we're, I guess, jumping in the middle region. <laughs> oh yeah, I did the shortcut. Yeah, I'm actually not doing too bad. Then we got more of these. More of them tits. And then we got them on the wall, we got them everywhere. We got big ones right here, and we got small ones back there. It's, it's, it's just like a mayhem right now. It's all at war. This area can be a pain if you don't know how to do it. Or if you don't know how to do the shortcut. Or the shortcut's a pain, rather. Which is basically that right there. And we have this flabby one, I guess. Ew. But whatever. And then we have these random blood falls all over the place. And the best mapping ever. I mean, how does that happen, right? And this area right here, for me, has caused me nightmares. Sometimes I have like just can't get past this area it takes me like forever to do it, and it's really annoying and we got Mount Teddy Kaka over there yeah, all right let's see take it slow take it slow I haven't I'll say I haven't been par in a while on this map just because of this area this area always takes me along as it's the stupidest area on this map I hate it really wish it could be replaced with something else like that little jumping onto that and sliding over there, like that's okay, but this this area right here, just for some reason I just can like almost never do it on my first try. And sometimes this jump right here can also be a pain. As you guys can see, it's really annoying. Oh, whatever, we'll get we'll get through it. 
But yes, I do hope to eventually beat par sometime in the future because I haven't gotten par in a really long time. I believe what you gotta do right here is actually just not let go of the... Yeah, there we go, okay. And we can, we can get a decent time, just slightly over par. Eh, not really anymore. We were doing so good, by the way, until then. At least for the shortcut. Or as for the shortcut, rather. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing it correctly. I have to do the shortcut like I normally do it. I believe I normally land on this. There we go. Ah, crap. Ran into the that, which apparently stopped me. But yeah, normally what you do is just like keep running, and then you'll just kind of, okay, looks like I'm going to have to do it, because apparently this map doesn't want me to not do the shortcuts. I always do the shortcut when I go through this little area. I just like can't can't stand not doing the shortcut. It sucks. Plus, plus it's a heck of a lot easier too. And I almost did it and from there. As long as you don't run to the wall, you just basically jump over that and then, yeah. <clears throat> By the way, the music on this is really cool. I like it. Good music. Good music indeed. Alright, that'll conclude this map. Sweet Dreams Wario. On to AC's Hive. Now this, I believe, the UK time, I think, I'm like I have maybe a 10% chance of being correct, but, or like, you know, when I say I think, as in, I mean, like, maybe about by 10% chance, I think. But I think that it's by, uh, the record is still, or the record actually was broken, that's a little shortcut, by the way. But yeah, I believe the record was broken, and I don't have it anymore, but again, I just think that, think, think. I'm like 90% sure that I actually still have the record on there. I have two checkpoints. I got the second right. I got this checkpoint and then I got the exit. This checkpoint right here. I could always do it a little faster than that. I'm not doing the shortcuts, but when I did it, it was a perfect, it was like a really good run when I did that. But yes, yeah, so I got that and I also got the exit, which apparently no one else got. So that was kind of cool. We did this map under 30 seconds, which is ultimately pretty good. The best I've ever done this map alone was like 58 seconds, I believe. So under a minute. Not bad. Not bad. This is a pretty big Noxium shortcut here that he showed me. I believe it's... I believe it's faster, but I believe it's also really hard. Because I've only done it once, and Noxium even had trouble doing it. I'm not going to go ahead and show it, though, but... Alright, so 115. Not bad. Not bad. On to... What is it called? I know it's not called the Swamp. It's got a more technical name for it. What is it? I don't know. I'm like completely lost on that map. It's called Across the Dark Swamp. Alright, it's got a little bit more tech, more of a technical name. Alright, again, I normally get, you know, low lag, or, um, high lag on that map, so if we're not able to play that with, uh, decent, at least, you know, FPS, and then we're gonna go ahead and just skip on to map 64, and then we'll, sometime, maybe tomorrow, I'll just see what I can do and see if I can try to get that in. Anyway, across Dark Swamp. To be honest, I actually really do hope that it actually lags me too much for me to play because I do not want to play this map. It is annoying and it takes forever and it's stupid. This could go on for years. Anyway, let's go. Okay, I'm actually at playable. Well, I mean, yeah, 10 FPS as you guys can see. That's not good. Obviously, I can like still move around and stuff, but no, this isn't going to work out. Yeah, this is this is too laggy. Like I can handle like the 50 FPS, which is what I normally play online, but this is this is kind of unacceptable. Sadly, I'm actually getting through it fairly quickly though, more fairly well. So, all right, fine. I'll just try to play as much of it as I can. But I, yeah, I'm pretty I'm lagging pretty badly though. As this is definitely not going to show on well on the cam. All right, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. This is just lagging me too much. I can't do it. I know you guys are like, oh, but, you know, no big deal. You could probably still do it. But, I mean, I could probably lower the resolution down to, like, a wicked low resolution. Like, for example, I'm on this resolution, which is, you know, pretty low. Kind of shows you how crappy my computer is. So I could probably go down to, like, maybe 320 by 240 or 320 by 200, which is the resolution that I used for one of my most one of my more recent videos called Glitch... Glitch Maze, I can probably come back later tomorrow 
Or today, I guess. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and do it today. And then, you know, play that. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and skip it because I'm lagging too much and I got other stuff to do. So, let's go to Jump City, which is the map after this. Again, I'll try playing on the lowest resolution. And even at then, if I still can't play it, which I'm pretty sure I will will be able to play it like at least like at 20 30 fps or something you know something playable at least pretty sure I'll be able to do it at something playable and then I'll go ahead and just play that in the meantime let me just go ahead and do this video and then I'll wrap it up for part four this won't be the finale again because I haven't played every single map the finale isn't until every map is complete which is obviously not until I get that swamp map done so there's going to be a part 5, which is probably going to be like 20, 30 minutes. Again, the swamp map is really long and annoying. <laughs> yeah, there's a way that you can glitch the door, but I can't get it. Or at least I didn't get it. You just gotta like, this thing right here is actually set as a door for some reason, so you just like right while you're right there, just push the use, and then this door will go down quickly, go forward, and then you can mess around with all your friends and they'll be like, WTF, OMG, this video, or this door doesn't work, OMG, and then rage one. You know, what, what those people normally do. What's the noobs always do? Anyway, but yeah, so this is going to be part 4, and then part 5 will basically be just the entire swamp map, because I can imagine that, for one, is definitely the longest map that's on the UK server. Again, longest map ever? No. That map probably has to go to the one in Jump Maze 3, that's like called definitely being removed or something like that. And uh, you're basically just doing like the same maps over and over again, but there's like no checkpoints at all, that's definitely the longest map. Alright, and then... Uh, Tonight, hot, 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 and then the world's best TV show ever. Oh my god, action thriller. It kept me in the edge of my seat. Kept me in the edge of my seat the entire time. Look at that. Watching the video. Whoa. Alright, anyway, and then that. Alright, let's move onward. You can go down here to go, or you can go over here to go back up to the apartment. So this is just both fans or whatever those are. And hey, does this look familiar? Yes, this is like one of the f in part one, I believe, of Let's Play Jump Maze 2, anyway. So that concludes our Jump Maze 2. Those are all the maps. Again, part five is going to be after this, and that's basically going to be playing the swamp map. If I still can't play it on the lowest resolution, then I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. I just won't play it, I guess. Sorry, 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 but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to play it at the lowest resolution, so. Let's go ahead and get right to it, right after this video. We're going to do that, so. Thank you guys for watching. Those are all the Jump Maze 2 maps. Peace.